On the 14th of June 2004, something was discovered that at the time was seen as having the potential to end the human civilization as we know it. Asteroid Apophis, named for the Egyptian deity who embodied chaos and who opposes the light of the earth. This deity is mentioned in the 8th dynasty of ancient Egyptian history when older traditions were mentioned that involved the serpent Apophis battling with Ra, the sun god, therefore the god of light. Each night the god Ra would set sail on his solar barge, known to protect the light and ensuring the sunrise each morning. Apophis would wait for the god in the shadows as the sun set each night to wage battle and to keep humanity in the darkness. So this asteroid has no doubt been given a name that potentially could extinguish the sun's light from the earth for a period of time. On Friday, April 13, 2029, the Apophis asteroid will pass the Earth closer than geosynchronous communication satellites and will come as close as 19,400 miles above Earth's surface, visible to the naked eye with a magnitude of 3.1 or how bright it will appear at this distance, the largest known asteroid with such a close approach. It is during this close approach that we will be able to determine what happens next. This asteroid will miss the Earth on 2029, but alterations made by both Earth's gravitational field and the object's perihelion on the Sun could determine its trajectory on its next close approach to our planet in 2036. If it is altered enough, then there is a real potential of a collision with Earth in 2036. At a low estimate of 360 meters across this would cause widespread chaos and destruction. However, recent analysis of the object suggests it is significantly larger than these estimates and this makes the situation unprecedented. This will see a mobilization of our planet's resources to protect our people from extinction. But NASA says no, nothing to worry about in both 2029 and 2036. It will pass safely, but they can't possibly know that for sure because they don't know the influence other celestial objects may have on the asteroid. This is clearly a case of not panicking our civilization, but we should be aware of the potentials involved with this thing and no doubt we get closer to the event then tensions will heighten. Designated 9994 to Apophis, we will know all about this thing as the time gets closer because astronomers the world over will see it coming years in advance. On Friday the 13th of April in the year 2029, the huge asteroid will streak across the sky, getting brighter and faster as it approaches our planet. It will travel more than the width of the full moon and it will get as bright as the stars in the Little Dipper. At the Planetary Defense Conference in 2019, experts in astronomy and science met to discuss the potential this thing poses to us. At College Park in Maryland, experts from all over the world met to propose ideas of what to do in the event that the asteroid's projection puts it on a collision with our planet and they are now preparing to train world telescopes, space telescopes, and radar observations onto the object to establish the best defense against such a formidable asteroid. NASA said the asteroid Apophis will look like a moving starlight point of light to earthly observers during the 2029 pass when they state, the asteroid will first become visible to the unaided eye in the night sky over the southern hemisphere, flying above Earth from the east coast to the west coast of Australia. It will be mid-morning on the east coast of the United States when Apophis is above Australia. It will then cross the Indian Ocean, and by the afternoon in the eastern U.S., it will have crossed the equator, still moving west above Africa. At closest approach, just before 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Apophis will be over the Atlantic Ocean, and it will move so fast that it will cross the Atlantic in just an hour. By 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the asteroid will have crossed over the United States. 
Elon Musk says we should nuke it into oblivion and perhaps there are plans to stop it. NASA has the asteroid redirection mission and we can't help but feel that this is already a mobilization to save the Earth. They are planning to smash a probe into a distant asteroid at 13,500 miles an hour to deflect it away from Earth in 2021. The mission is called DART and that stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test and it would be the first ever mission to test the possibility of deflecting or redirecting an asteroid on a collision course with Earth. We will see the asteroid again from Earth observation in January 2021. At that time, it will be determined what actions to take, if any. If a new orbit solution based on optical astrometry obtained in 2021 predicts a nominal apophysis encounter, and if impact cannot be ruled out, then a mission with a human-operated spacecraft will be required, something that will involve the efforts of every nation on the Earth to save the world. Sounds like Hollywood, right? But this is real. What do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.